Hi there YouTubers, Pet Prepper here. Today I'm going to show you what I call the dog bob. This is my dog's bug out bag. It looks really ghetto, uh, but in an emergency if we have to bug out, we're really not going to care. I found these bags at a thrift store and I got two of them. They don't match, but I don't care. I got them for three or four dollars and I found this vest in the closet. It's actually made for a person, but I just um, sewed a couple areas and tucked it tucked it and sewed it so it fits nice and tight and I added some velcro so the jacket fits nice and secure. He is going to be able to carry his own food and water and other necessities if we have to bug out. Now here's what I've got in, in my bug out bag. I've got an extra collar just in case somebody takes his off and I can't find it and I don't want to be wasting time looking for a collar. I've got a leash, I've got treats, I've got food for 72 hours, water for 72 hours, and this awesome little food and water bowl that's um, portable and really compact. It's lightweight. You can get them at um, pretty much any pet store or they could maybe order you one, whatever. We live in Minnesota, so dog boots are going to be a must. They're going to be a necessity. You don't want your dog um, lifting up his feet and not being able to walk because you're going to have enough to carry. You're not going to want to carry your dog. So, um, you know, whatever medicines your dog takes, it's not a bad idea to have antibiotic ointment um, just in case of a cut. And one of the most important items other than food and water is a muzzle. If you guys have to stop and sleep in a tent, you don't want your dog barking and uh, drawing attention to you. So um, I really recommend a muzzle. I'm going to do a whole video on muzzles and the importance of them. And I'm even going to show you how to make your own muzzle out of gauze. So um, that's the dog, Bob, and this is the pet prepper.